Today we're going to be changing the MAF sensor, mass air flow, which is located in this section of our air intake. However, what we're going to do first is we're going to disconnect our battery, our negative side. Now we want to make sure that we disconnect the negative cable. The positive is usually red and the negative is usually black. And what I like to do is I like to take and disconnect this and then what I do is I'll disconnect this and I'll put a rag over the posts. So if something accidentally comes across here like a wrench or something and grounds it out, we're not going to set this car ablaze. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to locate our waterproof connection which is located right here. We're just going to take a small bladed screwdriver, we're going to slip it in the tab and gingerly pull this apart. So now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect our band, we're going to move this forward, we're going to take our screwdriver and we're going to disconnect our band, give it a couple turns right here and we're going to take this center section apart to access our sensor. And our sensor is located right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this band completely off now. As you see, there's little indexing marks here on the outside edges and there's a top with an arrow. And all we're going to do is we're simply going to take our bladed screwdriver and we're just going to pop this out of here. Just like that. Now we have our little rubber plug here, which we're actually going to pull out. We're going to turn this sideways and we're actually going to push it into the housing. That's going to allow us to work with this thing and change our mass sensor. So what we're going to do is this is the unit that we're going to be replacing. This is actually our mass air sensor. We're going to reuse this connection again. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to take our screwdriver again. We're going to reach in here. We're going to bend the tab down and we're gingerly going to take this apart and set this aside. This is the mass air sensor unit that we're going to be replacing. There's two bolts here and one on the opposite side with two guide pins. We're simply going to take our ratchet and disconnect this. And it's a piece of plastic, so you want to be careful not to break it. There's special plastic screws, and we're just going to take the other one off also. Sometimes these are stuck. This one just has to be a little loose. And then we're going to replace it with our new one. So now we're just going to do the opposite. We're going to line up our pins. Not that way. Oh, look at there. Again, you want to be real careful inserting these. You don't want to be replacing this plastic. What I like to do is I like to start both of them a little bit, get them started first, and then tighten. Now we're ready to reassemble our unit. What we're going to do is we're going to take our plug and we're going to make sure that we make a good connection. You'll hear it click. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take our unit, we're going to insert our plug into the hole. Now you're going to have to turn this big rubber sideways and slide it in. Make sure it's sealed properly. We're going to come back here and we had our indexing marks so we can go back, insert this, and snap it right back into place. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our band. It has a line-up tool here, line-up pins, and we're going to slide this down up into our hose and just slide that on. Now we've got to turn this box a little bit. There's another lineup at the top here. And there's also one on the bottom. We're going to make sure that's in there. Make sure our band goes on there tight. Make sure it fits nice. We're going to simply take our screwdriver, give this a couple little turns. Again, you don't want to over tighten these because it's plastic, it'll break. Make sure it's secure. Now we're going to take our water tight connection and we're going to insert it together and you'll hear it click. And then we're going to take it and we're going to put it back into its location. And that will complete our mass air flow sensor installation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect our battery and see how it runs. 
Okay, let's see if it starts. Here's our service engine soon light, and we want to make sure that that goes off after we've started our engine. We've successfully installed our MAF sensor.